Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Boric, and I feel terrible for my allergies right now, but we definitely want to get into it as we're previewing Game 6, or excuse me, Game 5, and this is 2-2, two to two, as Game 6 will be back in Reading on Monday, as that is a definite now, as I'll be on the call with our Jetsburger that night, as he'll be on the call doing a great job, just like last night, this evening, as well. So, hopefully the Reading Royals are able to have a better performance. My keys to this game is I'm going to make this video shorter since we're coming up on game time. I honestly was having a busier uh, day playing some basketball and then my allergies were really acting up and then I forgot the game started at 6. So I had to get this out quickly to be quite honest. But please subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. My main key is Whoever is in cage, it would be the third straight game for Logan Flodell. I would just, but either way, the key is goaltending. Obviously, it's always net minding, and I thought Flo played fine in both of the last two games. The Royals kind of didn't play very good defensively in the first and third two games ago in the third game, and then yesterday they really outchanced the Maine Mariners. And I know one of our fine fans <clears throat> did agree with my uh, comment on him. I don't want to mention names on here because I don't know if people want their names mentioned, but agreed to my comment on saying such that I think we outchanced them. The Royals just have to be better in terms of their net front defense and blocking guys out and kind of pounding them out of the front of the net. Call me old school, like I said in the other video, but you got to do that still. It doesn't matter what damn area you're in. you got to make sure you bully guys out of the front of your net. You can't let them set up for deflection goals as they did too many times, or to block out the sight line of Flodell, because all the goals for the main Mariners in the series are hard-working goals that they deserve, but it's also because the Royals weren't able to block out the net front. The Mariners worked really hard to get to the net front, they weren't able to block it out, or they crashed really hard on the rebound, and the Royals weren't able to block out the rebound. There's not much a goaltender can do in those situations. So yes, Flodell, in the last few games, have given up a lot of goals stat sheet-wise. Maybe one of them was actually on him. So, and I would think the team from how they talked this year about defending their net minders when they don't play great in front of them, I would, which hasn't happened much this year, but it has happened in spurts of the last two games, I would say that they would even agree with that, but I don't know for sure, obviously. But I think the biggest key is net mining. The, the second key is obviously net front. Well, actually, I think those are tied because net mining, I think I expect to be good from the team. And then net front defense and blocking guys out, I expected that to be very good from the team. But in the last two, it hasn't been good. They haven't been blocking out guys from the net front. And a big thing, though, <clears throat> we have to keep in mind, like I said, they, they got to keep just getting chances, keep pushing the offense. The offense was good and aggressive yesterday. They just couldn't score on damn Cal Booth, who was playing absolutely like a menace to the Reading Royals and was an absolute freak out there in all the great ways absolutely making saves going side to side and he is a very good goaltender the most advanced of Lakers Brodeur and himself in his career it was just surprising Jeremy Brodeur wasn't put in but obviously Giddy made the right call and Callum Booth played a fantastic evening for the Mariners you'd have to envision he'll be in cage again for the main Mariners but we'll have to see and when it comes to Logan Flodell we will definitely have to see if he's in cage for a third straight game or if it's Hayden Hawkey or what have you happens there. But obviously, this is the last night for Phantoms hockey as well. So Darian Hansen's eligible to come down. Pat Nagel's eligible to come down. Matthew Strom's eligible to come down. Charlie Gerard and others. So definitely keep an eye on that transaction wire after tonight's hockey game. That, in my opinion, though, the last and final key as I have this video is a must win because you can't go up two zilch and then come back into Satande Arena, into Reading, down three to two. That just cannot happen. So tonight is a must win is my final key. Play better in the net front. Pound them out of there. Don't let them crash and get rebound opportunities. Make that be what happens on your end. The Royals have to be a little bit better at boxing guys out and getting and bullying the Mariners in the net front like they've been doing the last two games for the Royals. And they have to just continue to get the offensive chances and pass the puck around like they were doing last game to create chances. It's just Callum Booth was playing like a menace out there. But this has been a preview to the Royals versus Maine Mariners Game 5 as the Royals look to win this one so they can end it hopefully in Game 6 on Monday where I'll be on the call with Eric Jesperger in Satande Arena. I hope you all join us there. Rain or shine, no matter what happens tonight's game, hopefully we can pack the house and have a great Game 6. But again, to me, this is a must win because you can't be up 2-0 and come back to Reading down 3-2.
Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. We're up above them. These Jews, which keep trying to grow to 230 or more. Peace out, everyone.